we have yeah. lots of poison oak in Southern California. Leaves of three. One, two, three. Okay. Let it be. So One, two, plant, three, let it be. Yeah, it's a plant that you want to touch. You know, you don't want to put it in your mouth either. Okay, you know, you're, you're touching it and you just put it in your mouth. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, Eli here from Foraging California. I'm in Hahamanga Watershed Park, just north of Pasadena, California. Today I'm here with Pascal and Mia, foragers from transitionalgastronomy.com. Today we're gonna go out in the woods and forage for our meal uh, that Mia is then gonna turn into a gourmet dinner for us. Let's go to it. Mia, we'll see you in a little bit. Take a look at that one. So this is an interesting plant, by the way. Crush it, smell it. As far as I know, it's also non-native. It's called mugwort. Mugwort? And, and if you listen to the name, wart is for a herb, an herb that has a specific purpose. And then you have the word mug. So it's an herb for a mug. What do you make with it? Beer. I want to hang out with you. Yeah. For a week. I don't want to do just an hour. <laughs> you look there and you got peaches. That's a peach tree. That's a peach tree. If you stop here, this is all food. Uh, this is more food than a garden. Really? Uh, let me introduce very fast and then let me, we can let go me into guess. Detail. Let me guess okay, go for it. what we would eat. What about this right here? Nice. Now yeah. we're getting somewhere. Okay, great. Okay. I, I just, I, I'm going to say I survived for another hour because I picked that up. You, this is probably the best plant you could pick up. Yeah? This one is actually the lamb squatter or the, the wild spinach. Lamb squatter. Okay. You see that right there? So it's a little bit of red. Yeah. And then it's some of the older plants. Feel the leaves. You're going to feel like a little bit of a coating on it, like powder. Like a little bit of a powder. And you yeah. can even feel it between your finger. The seeds are completely good to go. Yeah. Uh, actually, you're going to eat some today in the wild crackers that I made. Oh, I great. use that to uh, make flour. Very easy to collect. And the plant is related to quinoa. So, oh, so this is like quinoa? Yeah, related to it, yeah. Nice. Californians love quinoa. Yeah. And then this one right there, you, you were nearly walking on it. This one is called... Uh, the pepperweed. Think of it as kind of kale. Okay. Uh, Californians love kale. The way to recognize it is pretty long leaf size of a hand, usually the young one. Wanna try some? Go for it. <laughs> I'll take something. That one is, see, you need to cook it and stuff. That's yeah, like. Oh, for God's sake, smile. <laughs> That's not bad. Because we got there. Oh, what is this? Aha! That, my friend, is passion fruit. If you open it, yeah. There you go. Look try, at that. Try that. Just the. That's delicious. Seeds? Oh, go for it. Just eat the whole thing. It's very good. That's really good. So what you have in your hand right there is cattail. Top one. This is a female part. Yeah. Usually it's loaded with pollen, and maybe we'll find one that has pollen. And this is the male part. So the male part is completely edible. You have to get it at the right time when it's really green. Yeah. And then you basically can boil it or steam it and you can eat it like a carbon on the cob. Like. Oh, really? Yeah, we, you're going to eat that today. Oh, great. Oh, there we go. See, one of the rules yeah. when you learn about foraging, never give up. And there you go. <laughs> Look at that. So this you can completely use to make flour. So yeah. you basically take a plastic bag and you just <laughs> shake it. But this is the perfect specimen. This is going to taste so wonderful. Yeah. You know, we can take this, have Mia cook it. We're right. going to taste it. All right. Mia. I got some food for you. Some wild spinach. Nice. And I got some, you some uh, pepperweed. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, like corn on the cob. Yeah. These are the California or perennial pepperweed. These were foraged today, and all I'm gonna do is saute them down in a little bit of olive oil. 
with balsamic vinegar and some salt and pepper. Quail that I confit in duck fat for seven hours. And over here, I have a kombucha squash puree with all of the wild sages that are in the area. My culinary experience, or my culinary expertise is take it out of the freezer, microwave put it in the microwave. It. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna solve that. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna take one of these and sort of stretch the dough like a little pizza Yeah. without breaking it. You're really good at that. I'm really, really good. If you give Am up I the, hired? Yeah, if you give up the TV gig, yeah. I need a sous chef really bad. <laughs> so this is a garlic cream soup that I'm then adding a concentrated puree of lamb's quarter and you get to play with your food, it's fun. Okay, and then these are little wild radish flowers that we forage. Oh, we saw those. Yeah. Last finishing touch. Cattail. This is cattail pollen, which is super good for you, but it's also really, really beautiful. Eat that like a corn piece of corn on the cob. Okay. And then you swig the soup. This is really good. That's amazing. Can you get the spinach? Sort of yeah. deep spinachy flavor? Yeah. It's nice. Mia. It's good. Come on. <laughs> Hi guys. This is a quail that has been confit in duck fat for seven hours and then pan fried in butter. So it's really figure friendly. It's over kombucha squash puree that has all the wild sages in the area, flavored with sage. Okay. And on the side is the California perennial pepperweed been flavored with a, a balsamic reduction. Oh, nice. And the sauce over the top is basically the uh, sauce made with a little bit of red wine and deadly black and white shade. So, enjoy. Pascal? Yeah. Pascal. 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 Yeah. salad course and what it is is a blend of wild lettuces that you can find there's purslane sow thistle underneath that is a white bean and garlic puree and on top of that are some quail eggs with a little bit of olive oil and balsamic so enjoy yeah, sure. balsamic. Yeah. <laughs> this is Thanks so much for watching Forage in California we've had a great time today we went out into the woods and got mugwort elderberries perennial pepperweed, uh, all kinds of stuff that I didn't even know existed out there. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. Learned that you can turn it into a gourmet meal as long as you have a, a chef like Mia. I'm gonna finish the rest of this elderberry wine. Cheers. Mm -hmm.